Hello, back for another vid. Mr. Angus Wang is here. Uh, I've I've been working at things outside, and just to start out and tell you, um, tired in the evenings and stuff like that. I'm getting old. <laughs> um, wake up in the morning, I feel like I'm totally bruised. <laughs> raining today though again, and so I'm into this heavy duty. Lots to do, so. Anyways, just wanted to let you know what I'm up to. But um, I, I have more interesting things to show here. And I'm going to try and keep it as quick as possible, even though I have a lot to show. So I'm going to get her spinning and do some talking. And then I'll show you what I need to show you. And then I'll blab a little more and hopefully it won't be too long. So first thing you'll notice probably is that um, when I check the speed here, it's going to be a little slower than the previous vid. Now I haven't touched the input um, or anything like that. Um, I've, I've kept it the same input and things as as last vid. But there is a difference. I kind of screwed up when I was mounting these cores. Um, the I don't know if I can show it the stand here I have drill holes and that's how I've been securing things to the wood and I screwed up and put them in the wrong drill holes and I didn't want to redo it it's basically the same idea same percentages um, it's just gonna start a little slower you may notice that <clears throat> one to explain the cores are just a tiny bit tiny bit closer to the magnets I've been keeping for all my tests for months now, really. Um, this distance the same, uh, the inside measurement of the core, whatever it happens to be for the test, the same, and also the distance from the wood to the ends. I've been keeping that the same to keep things consistent. But I kind of screwed up here and I wanted to point that out. And that's why there's a difference. If you may have note, you may notice. Um, so the input's the same. So last vid I showed uh, the separated coils, the separated laminated coils. And when I engaged or shorted the coils, um, the wheel slowed down, right? And I was talking about how the continuation of the core was important, right? Um, now I'm going to show you solid cores. This is solid iron steel whatever you want to call it um, they're iron 70 steel is 70 percent uh, iron I think anyway if you can look that up but they're separate cores again but they're solid iron and I want to show you the difference because it's very interesting um, but just to mention that last video I had them separated the wheel slowed down and the cores were laminated this time they're solid iron cores so uh, here's the input to the little motor again um, that's driving this little wheel. Right? Um, I have an AC voltmeter on the coils. They're white. <laughs> Here I need to explain. So the coils are wound in the same direction again. Their start, finish, start, finish are in series, as if they were in this way. They're they're um, connected electrically in series, right? the start here connected in series and the finish and I have the switch again and it's giving me about 16 volts AC so first I want to show the RPM 504 504 right and that's up to speed so here I'm going to engage the coil now it's shorted shorted through the switch and the inputs I think gone down uh, 10 milliamps so far but the wheel speeding up <laughs> right Right. 
the wheel speeding up. That's going to speed up to about 560 is what it's going to speed up to. So it's going to go from 504, I think it was, up to 560. I just did it. Let me check it again here in a second. So the core is separated now. The same coil arrangement. The coil is separated again, but the cores are solid. They're not laminated. And we're getting a good reaction from the wheel when we short the coils. Now, last time with the laminated coils, the, the wheel slowed down. Now, I want to point out and um, suggest what I see going on here. Um, Jean-Louis Naudin, I don't know if you guys are familiar with him. Uh, he has a great channel, great site on the computer to go uh, look at his experiments. Very, very smart man. Uh, but he's recently done experiments with the delayed lens effect, and uh, but at a higher frequency, right? And the um, capacitive reactance reaction you get, the delayed lens effect, is what it's called sometimes. Um, that's dependent on an, uh, a higher frequency and a higher impedance. He referred to it as a vish. In one of his videos, he had a little bar across. It's a solid state setup he had and he moved the coil back on this bar and he was talking about something he referred to as vicious remnant magnetization. And if you type that in you'll find his video I'm sure. Um, that's something I need to learn more about uh, that description of it but to me for my tests um, I'm seeing that it's due um, what I'm seeing is that these reactions that I'm getting aren't so much this is a very low frequency first of all there's only four positions on this wheel and I'm at about 500 rpm which is a low low frequency um, maybe around 20 Hertz um, my impedance isn't high um, I'm not gonna debate that because I haven't measured it right but <laughs> I had one commenter telling me that he measured the impedance of my coils I had a little chuckle there Anyways, um, <laughs> uh, but from my tests, what I'm seeing is that I'm getting these reactions due to the fact that I'm interacting with the B field. The magnetism goes into this core. I'm interacting with both sides of the magnet. This is the important, important part. But interact another very, very crucial thing and is and it, it it's similar to what this uh, not M was talking about with this uh, vicious remnant magnetization <clears throat> is that interacting with just the B field just the field in the core right is what gives this reaction if I had this core oriented this way and I had the face of this coil right in the magnetic field of those magnets I wouldn't get a good reaction, I don't think. Actually, I've tried it. You don't. I tried it a couple few months ago. And you don't. Um, so my observation is that you want to keep your copper outside of that free magnetic field. You want the magnetic field interacting with an iron core. You want your copper away from that. Uh, I think of the, the A field, perhaps. But away from that field emanating from the magnet and you want it you want the magnetic field to go through an iron core and you want to keep the copper out of that that free flowing field and you want to interact the copper with just the B field in the core and uh, Jean-Louis uh, moved his coil back on the bar um, and uh, got a good reaction from his system right but then as he went further uh, he got less of a reaction, right? Well, the B field's going to diminish as you go down the bar, right? I think that's a, a, one explanation that could be possible there. Anyways, I don't mean to ramble, but these are all things I want to mention. Um, so it's only from interacting with the B fields, what I, B field is in the core is what I'm seeing. Keeping the copper out of the magnetic field is key um, to sidestepping the lens, I think. Now, next on the list, I'm 
uh, going to be fiddling with this uh, all day today. I think it's going to be raining for the rest of the day. So this is good because my body feels like a bruise and <laughs> this is something I'd much rather uh, be doing. But so perhaps expect another video from me today too. So um, next on the list uh, for sure coming up is the Cromray arrangement. I wanted to make a vid of just this to show you guys because of the other related vids pre previous and I find it important. And to go along with it, what I've said about the beef, interacting with the beef field. Okay, so, Cromray's coming up. Please be patient, guys. And Mr. Two Top, I know you're, you're sick of my slow-ass ways, too. So, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Love you, man. Love all you guys. Anyways, here, uh, uh, something else that I really want to do today, I woke up with a bit of a hair up my butt about, is this Tesla pancake coil and the ideas I have with them. And I want to test a couple things uh, with that, which, you know, I'll be able to do e efficiently time-wise today. Um, I'm seriously curious about the things I'm thinking about. So, a couple things to do there. Uh, I also have new loads to test, which I'm excited about, new motor loads. Um, so I'll be doing that as well. Lots more to come. Uh, soon I'll have more free time and energy to go with it um, to do this and play with lots of other things that I like to do. But I have uh, work, work, like real serious labor work that I've been doing out in the yard with the neglected place that I bought. So, Anyways, I want to get it done. But also, I'm still working at this. And uh, anyways, maybe expect more videos today for sure. I'll, uh, thanks for watching. Love everybody out there. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace.